Jesse, <laughs> MVP. One, two, three, go. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. As you can see, we have a very special guest in the house, in the person of Alma's husband. <laughs> Mr. Jess. Eh? Mr. Jess. You see it? Well, yeah, guys, today, see, uh, this video has been such a long time coming. It's been over a month, well over a month, if not going to two months, since I put on my uh, community tab, ask us your questions, even on my Instagram, and we haven't, you know, gotten around to film it because our schedules, guys, so walk, he choke. You True. know, so I was like, you know what, today we must film this video, at least film the YouTube community questions and then film the instagram questions another day all right so that's what we are doing today and even put makeup set for face because i'm just like you know what i beg that's be fine oh my god that's be fine i didn't thought you did makeup oh, ah I thought you be serious more makeup no i didn't put any makeup on my face babe okay. hey guys what okay, okay all right okay that's all right here okay so babe how long has it been since you came to my channel it's been a while you dumped me now eh you dumped me i dumped you you didn't want to invite me <laughs> guys is it true i not dumped this man don't mind him. he's too busy for me jesse is too busy for me man he's too busy <laughs> he's too busy to be on this channel in fact most times i even have to force him but anyway let's get right into answering the questions that you guys left on the YouTube community tab, all right? How does he sincerely feel about your success as a YouTuber and influencer? And the fact that you now bring something tangible to the table? You know, I've always wanted you to succeed. Yeah. So that's like, for me, seeing you succeed is like a dream come true. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. but it's true, like really, like from the get go, like I've really wanted her to succeed. You know, it makes me happy seeing her, you know, do well in her space. I'm blushing so hard, guys. Can you guys tell? Like, I'm really blushing, yeah. but yeah. Actually, I, I'm really happy for you, though. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like this is just the, the beginning, I, I think. Yeah. Of bigger things to, to come. come. So just keep grinding, keep investing in your craft. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Don't get, don't even feel like you're started because man, there's a lot of competition and you have to do better. You have to, in fact, there are levels to yourself. Yeah, keep finding yourself. Things. Yeah, so. <laughs> How has it been to be married for six years now? The challenges, the lows and highs, practically everything. It's been here and there, to be honest. I mean, guys, see, there's no perfect marriage. I keep telling people this thing like, there really is no perfect marriage. Yeah. You can't expect it to be all roses without thorns. Even roses have thorns, right? So I feel like um, there are sweet times, there are low times, you know, there are very happy moments, there are, you know, just their moments. You know, it can't just all be rosy. Like, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Ups and downs. If you have a marriage and everything is so smooth, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. I Somewhere, feel like, yeah. Someone is pretending somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if your marriage is so smooth with no issues, no hassle. Yeah. Ah, even you should for be one scared, day, Seth, actually. Yeah, you should be scared. Like, why is it so perfect, mm -hmm. you know? But I think at the end of the day, no matter how high or how low it becomes, what I feel like is the basis is the love, right? Yeah. Love and friendship. Yeah, love you and friendship. Love and friendship. Very important. <laughs> I, I know that there are times when, if you actually, if you love someone, and let's say in your low moments, yeah. you know, and you love the person, there's a point where you just get tired and you're actually missing the person. Mm -hmm. True that. Yeah, you get. True that. You know, so. But when there's no love, that's a problem. Because mm. if you guys have issues and there's no love, it's just going to continue on. That's the truth. It'll be easier to hold and keep grudges. Yeah. You know. But, you know, at the end of the day, especially if you're, if you're wrong and you know you're being genuine with yourself, then something will just prick you somewhere. Yeah. You just have to come back. Alma, I love you and your family a lot. May God's goodness, grace and favor keep running after you. Blessings. Okay, there was no question. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you make your parents accept the man you love? I'm going through this stage of my life where my dad doesn't want to accept my boyfriend because of prophetic message they gave him. This is so nostalgic because I think I've shared this before on my channel. Like an ex i was dating before jesse where he was giving a prophetic message that i was not his wife and all of that um 
in this case now it is coming from the guy's parents angle so what do you have to say about that babe it's not about the prophetic message yeah anybody can give you a prophetic message that's right what is that who where's the message from mm -hmm. so when it comes to marriage i feel like it largely depends on both parties yeah you that is getting married, what has God told you? Mm. Have you prayed? What did you receive? Did you, do you have peace? Because see, marriage is like a lifelong, um, you know, journey. journey. You can't even treat it with, you know, um, baby clothes, right? Yeah. You have to go in, find out God's will for yourself, actually. You don't have to depend on anyone. Yes, yeah. it's important to get advice from, you know, family friends loved ones it's very very important like the bible says that in a multitude of counsel you can't go astray right mm -hmm. you understand yeah. so i feel like it's not about the fact that there's um the, there are prophecies coming forth yeah but where is it coming for test every spirit is it from the right spirit who is it coming from yeah there are some people that claim that okay they heard from god but to be honest sometimes it's it wells from their their desires yeah like sometimes so parents could desire a certain way or a certain person for their kids yeah. to get married to so sometimes if it doesn't go that way their mind begin to play some yeah i feel like okay yes receive the prophecy take it back to god in prayers find out what god is saying and if it agrees with what god is saying fine if it doesn't then you have to find out God's will for yourself. It's, it's tricky, yes, yeah. but like I said, go find out for yourself first. Because if you don't know what it's meant to be, you can't fight for anything. Mm -hmm. You can't go and say, oh, daddy, no, what you're saying is wrong. Yeah, go back, actually. take what he said, put it into advisory, go back in, to God in prayers. This yeah. is what I've heard. Is this your will? Yeah. And be genuine about it. And God, and when God sees your honesty, mm. you know, God speaks to us in different ways. Mm. Learn how to hear from God. Know how God speaks to you. Just tell, be playing with God like, okay, you're vulnerable here. What should I do? What is your will in this? So when you find out God's will, if God's will is contrary to what your dad is saying, go back to him and say okay this is what i feel these are my convictions trust me with this and let's pray together on this you understand let yeah. it not be that you're trying to fight your father your or father. anything or anything yeah. but just say okay i know that you said this but i've gone back to pray this is what i have received this is what i feel god is saying to me yeah. can we pray more about it you know i believe you guys are genuine yeah. if your dad is genuine and loves you genuinely which i i, I know he does yeah. you get so and i think his will ultimately will Comfort. I don't have any questions. You guys look amazing. May God continue to bless and keep your family. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hello, Alma. What will you do if the man you love is a good person, but then his dad and stepmom are bad? Would you go on with the relationship, marriage, and so on? Vice versa, the woman. Thank you. I enjoy watching your vlogs. Much love. Alma, if the dad and the stepmom are bad, please run. Because I feel like when it comes to marriage, you're not marrying just that person. You're, you're marrying, marrying their into family, the family. Into the family. Yeah. So if the person's dad and stepmom are bad, please take off, dear. It's not worth it, if you ask me. It's your entire life we're looking at here. A lifetime of what? In the end. At the end of the day, what makes you think that his dad and his mom will not instigate him against you much later? Do you get my point? So, mm. yeah, right, babe? Well, that also depends on the influence. How much influence mm. do they have on the guy? Yeah. Yeah, I know. See, you're marrying into the family, right? I feel like you should wait. If the guy is willing to go all the way with you. Yeah. But then his parents are a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. What you don't just go into it. Just to give it some time and see if something changes. Pray about it and see if something changes. If not, then I advise you to just stay away until you get their full support if not i don't think it's about support because what will you do if the man you love is a good person but then his dad and stepmom are bad she's not saying that they are not accepting her that they are not good people it's a tricky it's a dicey yeah it's one, a very so. dicey one but if you ask me i'll say wrong because i'm not you're marrying into a family you're not marrying just that person my question is do you both ever think of relocating outside the country in future if yes where exactly what keeps you motivated to keep making videos on youtube even when your views are not as expected okay relocation um, uh, i want to relocate <laughs> my husband is still talking about relocation yeah 
But how am I like, bros? I know since I won't go now. That's my own stand for now, Sha. And it's for a number of reasons. You know, my job inclusive and the brand I've built here in Nigeria for myself. I just feel like relocating for me right now is going to affect me. And, you know, what I do for a living and all of that. Well, I still want to relocate. Like in the it. near future. Yeah. Things can change. Yeah. yeah. Depending on. Never say never, Sha. Yeah, never say never. Never say never. But I'm just. It's in the pipeline. It's yeah. In, it's, it's. It's in view. It's in view. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's in view. It's not like oh my god, we're literally in the process of relocating right now. No, but it's in view. So we'll see how that goes. But then again, if we're relocating, what country do we think we're going? Canada. Uh, yes. Canada. Or the I US. feel like I'm. I'm Past Canada right now, like I feel like, but Canada right now, just like professionally, mm, I rather, I rather professionally, yeah, professionally, yeah, it to do me, it to do well. you, yeah, we to do you well regardless. Whether yeah, Canada, Canada or US, US, yes. Yeah. But for me, I don't think I want to go to Canada. Like then, if you ask me this question like four years ago, I'd have said yeah. But now it's like. Nah, I'm even thinking not for the kind US, of job I do. Of family and all stuff. Yeah, not for the kind of job I do, and because of family, I don't know anybody that lives. I don't have any family member that lives in Canada. I have family in the US. If I'm going to relocate to the US, I feel like I can at least. It will still be starting afresh in regards to what I do, working with brands and all of that. But I feel like US might give me a better, what what do you call it, that opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's it, but for now, we see the year for now, Sha guys. All right, we're still here, there's no hurry. We're, we're doing okay, we can be better, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Please ask him what he thinks of you being a mom and if he wants more kids. <laughs> of course, I want more kids. <laughs> so, anyway, he said, Of course, of course, I want more kids. Yes, of course, no. we both want more kids, and when I'm ready, because I feel like soon. Jesse is I ready. Want it soon. You want it soon? <laughs> I feel like Jesse is over ready. And I Jessie think has Mia, been is so ready. Point, Mia is at the point where she needs someone. To, yeah, she's yeah. She's always she's sick. She's always talking about sister, sister. You yeah, know, or a sibling. A sibling. It will happen. I feel like sister, I, haven't, I haven't been ready. Okay, that's honest truth. I haven't been ready. It's, everything is on my head, to be honest. Mm, you'll you be know. ready, okay? Yeah, but I feel like you know, it's 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 around the corner. You know, let's 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 hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, this is a prayer. Bless couple. May the good luck continue to strengthen and prosper you all in all you do. Unending and un unconditional love will never depart from this amazing couple. I love you, Alma, and family so much. Mwah. Love you so much. Love you too. If your partner wants to relocate, <laughs> okay, this is almost like the last one we answered. If your partner wants to relocate and it's not part of your plan in the near future, how would you handle it? I've always told Jesse, to be honest, that if he gets a good job, and he needs to move, I will support him 110% until I'm ready to join him. I've told him that I'll before. move and come and pack you people. <laughs> <laughs> I've told him that. But then again, one part of me is like, me that can't be without this man for like one week. If I stay for like one week, my whole body would just be shaking like this, you know? But um, I feel like I, I don't have a problem if he has to relocate for work. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to benefit all of us, right? That's what I think. And then, um, you know, at the point where I feel like, okay, I think it's time to join you, then, you know, we'll cross that bridge. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be much of a hassle. The distance will affect us, that's for sure. But I feel like, I, yes, don't, I just feel like, <laughs> isn't that yes? I just feel like it is something that we can pull through, you get. So, yeah. What do you think? Ah, when we get there. When we get there, right? Yeah. When we get there. <laughs> no question, just love and light. No question, only admiration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the best thing you enjoy about being married? What is the best thing you enjoy about being married? The fact that I can call on my husband for anything and he wants something. Now, since, yeah, in this era of where there has been no fuel in Abuja for some months. Wow. Where my <laughs> Wow, wow, when my phone is about to finish in my car, I will beg him, babe, please. My phone is about to finish, he'll go and queue for me and buy me. Well, wow. <laughs> like when it comes to like my car, mechanical issues, anything, is he my go to? I don't know anything about that. One. I don't know anything about that. That's one. the best part of it. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> wow, I kid, I kid. That's just by the way, but 
I mean, a lot of things, to be honest. You know, just having someone in your corner yeah. forever, 247. Having your friend. This is like a lifetime friend. A so lifelong friend. you know friend. that for sure has your back. Yeah, at all times. You know, like you're practically heading the same, to the same destination. Yeah. You have, um, you know, you just similar goals. Planning your life Planning together. Planning your life just together. Just basically living life just together. Just knowing that someone is there. Yeah. And it still boils down to you helping me to buy for you my car. I know that you are there. You are there to help me do all of this. Thank you. <laughs> Who makes the first move to reconcile during a quarrel? No. What is no? Not it's, all the time. Oh, guys, it's me, sir. Not you, all the time. You give me cold shoulder. Oh. No. See, you put, so forget, you put, don't know this man. This man can stay in this house. He will not talk to me. Yes. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh -huh. But it's not for long like that. It's not for long like that. Yes. But you agree you used to give me cold shoulder, Shah. But sometimes I used to come back. Man. You used to come back. <laughs> <laughs> you, used to, you used to return from where you went to. I mean. Yes. But I feel like when it comes to like making the first move more, I feel like it's new. I feel like it's me, babe. That's the truth. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, well. Eh, uh, because... <laughs> But sometimes I do. Oh my goodness. But yeah, more, And you more. do, but more of me. Yeah. That's, that's your honest to God truth. Was there any pushback from any family members about the tribal difference? If yes, how did you navigate that? Not from my immediate family. Same here. Mm -hmm. I actually did think my parents would care that he was from Benue and I'm from Masaba Delta State. But to be honest, my parents didn't care. They didn't give a hoot. My family was more interested in, you know, if I was making the right choice, if I was happy with the person. Yeah. You know. Same here. Yeah, My so. parents just wanted me to be happy. Yeah. So They just wanted me to be happy and as long as I was happy, they were happy. So I feel like my parents are so liberal. They don't, I beg, like, mm -mm. this is a prayer and a question. I pray may the oil of understanding, love, joy, and growth never cease in your marriage. Amen. Amen. My question is, how is financial management handled in your home? Two, to your hobby. Please, sir, as a man, do you feel intimidated about your wife growing financially? You mean, like, who buys what? Who spends money on what? Um, I mean, naturally, I mean, as a man, Jesse handles a lot of the things in regards to the home, you know, buy lights, buy fuel for generator, pay house rent, pay school fees. For me, I feel like what I tend to do some of the time is, you know, um, food stuff, uh, maybe if I don't want to bother him because I'm very considerate like that, okay? Right, baby? Yes, you are. Yeah. So, time when I, maybe when I feel like, oh my God, maybe he's far spent for the month or something and we need something at home, I, I, I chip in, all right? Um, and then when it comes to Mia as well, it's not everything that concerns Mia Rose that I go to him for. There are some things that I just tend to handle on my own so I don't bother him because to be honest, he actually does a lot. Um, so yeah, financially, that's how we do it, Sha. There's no set thing and say, oh, this one, you must be the one to do it. Well, of course, house rent, ah, no, house rent, ah, no. <laughs> house rent, ah, school fees. <laughs> Man, can I enter that place, please, it's gas work. <laughs> But other things I tend to chip in once in a while. Have I answered it all? Yeah. Said it all. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you feel intimidated about your wife growing financially? No. Like why? Why? I feel like because in Nigeria, some men feel like when a woman begins to grow financially, begins to have her own, um, some men feel like okay, she begins to grow horns, she begins to do whatever she likes, you can't control her. Okay, except you know, stuff for like that. that. Except for that, but uh, like naturally, like yeah. you're not meant to intimidated yeah you why be you should be happy but and supportive but then to balance it out there are some ladies who it gets to their head it gets to their head as long right? as it doesn't get to your head if you're if you're mature enough to yeah. handle stuff like that yeah why should it even get to your head like do you get shouldn't get to a point where oh you feel like I have enough resources. Yeah. I don't need anybody yeah. because some people say that yeah independent women all yeah. that stuff <laughs> Feminist, are you Feminist, like, I feel it's not even a competition. Yeah. It's not a competition, not a competition. in any I, I don't way. like it when I see when I see couples who maybe one party feels like they are in competition with their spouse. Why would you want to compete with your spouse? I feel like it's So if if you know, if you know at a point in your marriage you start making more than your husband. Yeah. So I don't think 
you should rub it in his face rub it in his face or let it get into your head or whatever be mature about it about it how do you split the financial responsibilities in your home i just talked about that yeah. you know there are certain things that of course man of the house handles and there are things like chipping once in a while as well hi alma and jesse i would like to know from you both what is the best thing about being married to jesse and vice versa secondly what is your love languages the best thing about being married to jesse i think i've said this earlier on uh, talking about how he's always there for like the slightest things you know and uh, when i try to make a big deal out of nothing he's always there to calm me down because guys i make a big deal out of things that are not big deals abby <laughs> and he's always there to remind me babe just just turn it down two notches, please. Please, dear. I think, well, I yeah. think for me, it depends. It, it may be the kind of training I have. Yeah. I just look at that. There's no problem that you face that doesn't have a solution. Solution, yeah. So I'm learning. We're all learning, right? Yeah. To know that no matter how big or how small the problem is, there's always a solution. And mm. if you calm down, look at it, worrying will not change anything. Worrying doesn't change anything. I've left that one you know, time. Worrying or, you know, hitting your head on the wall doesn't change yeah. anything. By the time after you hit your head, head on, on the, the wall, wall, come back and face What's it. What's next? Yeah. You know, so my approach to problems, like, what's the way forward? Yeah. Like, I, I look at it like you're in the office, right? Uh-huh. You have an issue in the office. Your boss doesn't care. Yeah, if, the big you can't to go to your boss and say, I don't know what is wrong. He just wants solutions. That's like right. That's why you are employed. Yeah. So maybe that has gotten too much into me. So when, when I, whenever I have an issue, I know that there's a, there's a solution. solution. What's the way forward? What's the first step to solving this? You know, so that's my own approach to life and everything. Yeah. What is the best part about being married to me? Plenty, there are plenty. Let me see which one stands out the most. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm blushing. <laughs> I feel like, you know, one thing I love about her is she, no matter what, she has a good heart. She has a good heart. She's loving, she's kind. So, regardless of anything, you know, I know that, you know, I have someone who is compassionate and, you know. Aww. I don't have to, you don't have to hide anything, right? Yeah. Like, you don't have to make up anything for anything, mm -hmm. whatever. It is, but like, be sincere and you know tell each other like these are these are the things that I like and I really love that about her. And Aww, yeah, and she's this. really warm. And if you know her, it's not just me. I'm not just saying because I'm married to you. Like, yeah. if you meet her somewhere, anywhere, you don't even know her. She's very warm, and that was one of the first things that you know attracted me to you. You know, she's not she's not that type of girl that you come and you're like all defensive. Okay, <laughs> what what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Eh? You want to ask for my number? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. She's Oh my you know, god. So I really love that about her. Oh, She's baby. a very warm person. Aww. What are your love languages? You see those little little things that you do, you think it's nothing? That's what he regards as something. So I feel like that's his love language. Like if you want to get him, you want to get his heart. So I feel like that's what that those are his love languages, like little acts of love here and there. That's what gets him. When I listen to you, when I pay attention to what yes. you need. Yes. Yes. Like that's it. I think it still boils down to the little things. Yeah. Being detailed. Because for me, I don't like to talk much. I like for you to just know. Mm -hmm. Just listen to me without me talking. How do you guys separate house bills? Does, does one person pay for everything or is it 50-50 or whoever Script. gets to it first? It's the same thing guys. Like I said before, it's not 50-50. Ha! It's not 50-50, I beg you, but you know, just <laughs> handles. I beg you, I beg, I beg you. He handles what he's supposed to handle. I handle what I can handle once in a while. That's it, all right? Um, there's no, there's no rule. There's to no be rule honest. To there's no rule actually. to it. So for us, we don't have a set rule. That's it. Mm. Um, what are the qualities you admire about each other? I think we've said that also, you know, in uh, previous questions. You two look alike as if you are siblings. <laughs> People say this a lot about my parents. Okay, they always say my parents look alike. But I feel like that happens when couples have been married for a while. I feel like it happens with a lot of couples. Um, so many compliments here. Dinky, beautiful couple, cute couple ever, beautiful couple. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. How do you spice up things in the other room? LOL. Who apologizes first after a disagreement or a misunderstanding? We've touched on that before. Yeah. But how do we spice things up in the other room? 
So let me tell you something. Jesse does not like to talk about bedroom scenes on camera. <laughs> just let me just put it out there so that people will not be asking us bedroom questions. He doesn't like talking about his bedroom antics on camera. That's just it. So spicing up things in the bedroom. <laughs> I feel like he would never talk about it, so let's just skip that question. Let's just skip because he really don't go answer. Good morning, ma'am. Please, I need to know if staying very close to your parents has affected your marriage in certain ways. Staying close to your how? Like it has yeah. even helped our marriage, self. Because times that we need breathing space, we can't even arrows and can't keep a day. <laughs> so I don't think nah has it no, affected no, no, no. anything for you. No, no, nah. no. Just I made us even closer. Even closer. It has yeah. even made us much closer, closer yeah. than, you know, we were before. before. So, yeah. Can easily just, there are times when, you know, I can just pass and just branch, or maybe I'm going home, I'll just branch there first, just See check them. in, you know. Yeah. So it has made us closer and I actually love it. You know, it's like, it's, it's your family as well, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah. like, your parents' family, your wife's family is your yeah. family too. Yeah. So for me, it's like one big, family, one big family you get. You both look so beautiful. Thank you. My question is, do you have date nights? To be honest. We hardly. We hardly. And babe, I've been saying we need to be more intentional about date night. Guys, we hardly have date nights. And that's the honest to God truth. And the, the reason I would say, one of the reasons right now I would say is our schedule. His work schedule. You guys, he works a nine to five job. At the same time doing photography on the side so usually it gets a lot for him and making out time can be very difficult but i feel like we need to be more way way more intentional about it yeah, yeah? i agree yeah i agree right so where is, where is our first date night going to be um, let's go back to where let's first go back to where i asked you to marry me where you asked me to marry where was that johnny rockets Oh my god, are they still there? I don't know. I don't know if John Rogers is still but there. Yeah, let's just go oh, there. You, can, you guys can see how, how sweet this man is. So we should go back to where he proposed to me. Just 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 imagine that. Like this this guy. This guy. Why do you look alike? That's my question. I, but, do you look alike? <laughs> but seriously now, how have you had any problems with your growing fame? Like does either of you ever get slightly jealous about the other person's career? We've no. talked about this before. He is more than happy for me. In fact, he wants me to be more, more famous. He wants me to, 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 to attain greater heights. Okay? You guys just want one child. Here we go. No. <laughs> Thank you, Zizi. Thank you, Zizi, sir. Hi, Mr. Na. No, no. <laughs> no, guys, we don't just want one child. We want more than one child, and we will have one, one more eventually. Look at yourself very well. Mamma Mia, can you marry someone that behaves exactly like you? No. No, it won't work. It will not work. That's why I marry somebody that is not like me. All right? I marry somebody who is a bit more reserved, a bit more calm and collected because... If, even me, I will tell you sometimes. <laughs> Mommy, stop shouting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Say, God. Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Oh, Mom, you're making so much noise. <laughs> That me, a same question goes to you. Can you marry somebody exactly like you? No, uh, I'll no. be bored. You will be boring as if you'll be such a boring couple. Like, oh my god, <laughs> where is the spice, please? <laughs> and what do you love most about your beautiful wife? I said that already. Please, Alma, what is your take on YouTube sponsored ads and how it works? I mean, just like one can advertise their page on Instagram or Facebook, does it also help channel growth and get into monetization? Please, I need your honest opinion. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by YouTube sponsored ads. Okay, you mean like sponsoring your channel on YouTube where it will be playing as an ad on somebody else's video. I think I've seen that a couple of times. Um, to be honest, I haven't tried it. I don't know much about it because I haven't tried it out before. I don't know if it is monetization. I don't know to be honest, but um, yeah, I would say just try. You can't, you can't know if you don't try, right? So just try it out and see if it works for you. No exposure is bad. To be honest. To be honest, right? So yeah. you just once you're attract. out there, you don't know who's going to attract. Yeah. Be attracted to your page. So. Yeah, you have a point. You have a point. So yeah, go ahead and just give it a shot. You never know. All right, guys. So that is all we have for you guys in today's video. We'll stop here today. These are all the questions that we got on YouTube. The ones we got on Instagram will answer in a different video sometime in the near future. All right, guys. Did you enjoy being on this video? Did yeah, you enjoy this video? Of course. You enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right guys hopefully jesse will see you guys again soon if you enjoyed watching please don't forget to subscribe all right thumbs up the video <laughs> share this video comment down below <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>